Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you play a song called Chandelier by Sia. And we're going to kind of end up caping this on six fret to match the recording, but we'll talk about a couple ways that, or a couple things in root position. And we start off on an E minor chord, and we play E minor. First finger goes on the A, second fret. Second finger on the D, second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an E minor chord, and it sounds really, really sad. Now, on E minors in general, it can be kind of cool to add in the third finger on the B third, pinky on the high E third. Kind of work on those as an E minor 7 chord. And then from the E minor on our intro verse, we'll be going to a C major chord. We play C major. First finger goes to the B on the first fret, second finger on the D second fret, and third finger on the A string third fret. And if you strum the A string to the high E string, that sounds a C major chord. It sounds really happy. And on C's in general, it can be kind of cool to lift the first finger, make that a C major 7. Or you can add in the pinky on the B string third for a C major 9 and kind of say some stuff around C's. Or another way to play C major 9 would be doing first finger on the D second, second finger on the A third, third finger on the B third, pinky on the high E third, kind of working that for your C major. And then from the C, we'll be going to a D major chord. And we play D major, first finger goes to the G on the second, second finger on the high E second, third finger on the B string third fret. And if you show them the D string to the high E string, it sounds a D major chord and it sounds really happy. Now around D's in general, you could kind of lift the second finger. Well, that's a dangerous finger to lift, but that sounds a D sus two. Or you could add in the pinky on the high E third for a D suspended chord and kind of say some stuff around the D major. And then, oh, or another option actually would be very cool, something I call D add four, where you take the C chord shape and just slide it over to third, fourth, and fifth. So you kind of dig on that, you may want to kind of dig on, on the D major. And then from the D, we're going to a B minor chord. We play B minor. Normally you do this as a second fret bar, and we'll talk about some easy options here too. But then two goes to the B string third, third finger on the B fourth, pinky on the G fourth. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a B minor chord, and it sounds really sad. Now you may also dig on kind of lifting off the pinky, making that a B minor seven. Or another way to play B minor seven would be doing first finger on the A second, second finger on the G second. Third finger on the high E second. If you strum the A string to the high E string, that sounds a like B minor seven. Or if you're kind of digging on on the the E minor voicing for uh, E minor seven, you may want to try a, a different B minor, where you do first finger on the A second, second finger on the G second, third finger on the B third, pinky on the high E third. If you strum the A string to the high E string, that's another way you might want to think about playing your B minor. And then from the B minor, we'll kind of be repeating that progression, kind of E minor. C, D, B minor, C, and then an E minor, and then a D. So I'm kind of just filling in that time with just kind of down strokes. Or you will hear these cool little licks actually that kind of happen around those chords where you could start on the E minor and kind of do the open E, and then a D, G, B, and then D, G, B. Go to the C major seven without the first finger. I almost kind of do that same way, kind of the A, D, G, B, D, G, B, D, and then we can kind of take that idea and slide it over to fifth fret, fourth fret, and second fret. You may want to readjust your fingers for this. Got a first finger on the G second, third finger on the D fourth, pinky on the B or A string fifth to kind of do that almost that same idea but, but a little bit slower. So now we're going A, D, G, and then A, D, G. It's kind of the idea. And then we go to the A string second, and then open D, fourth fret on the D, second on the A, open D, fourth fret on the D, and then second on the A. So all together you got kind of that E minor idea, C idea, and then the D major idea, and then kind of a B minor idea. licks instead or well, we could use other strum patterns and one of my favorite strum patterns for a 4-4 like this is down down up up down up so you take the E minor and just try that a lot you'd have down down
another strum pattern you may want to play around with is something called the 16th note strum pattern, where if you're tapping your foot to the beat, right now we're kind of dividing that beat into two parts with our down, down, up, up, down, up. Have a one, two, one, two, and that's called an eighth note. What a 16th note is, is where you divide that into four parts. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And one of my favorite 16th note strum patterns is a long down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down. And what I mean by that is if you take the E minor and do it down for four. That's what you'd be doing on the first beat. And on the second beat, you do it down on one, down on three, up on four. So we're going one, two, three, four, down, 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 down. And then on the third beat, you do it up on two, down on threes. One, two, three, four, one, up, down, one, up, down, one, up, down. And then on the last beat, you'd be going down, up, down, right along with the one, two, three, four. So down, down, down. that through that intro verse. second fret, second finger on the low E third fret, and third finger on the high E third fret. And if you strum all those together, it sounds a G major chord and it sounds really happy. Um, now you may also want to think about putting the third finger on the B third, pinky on the high E third. And that's another way you could play your G major. And actually on that G major you'll kind of hear the A string on the second fret kind of come out as the bass note on that. That's called G slash B or G major with an A string B note. That's kind of the bass note on that chord. So through our chorus part, you could work any of those ways too. Kind of an eight down count work. C, B, G slash B, C. Or you may dig on the down, down, up, up, down. C, B, G slash B, C. Or you could work the 16th. Instead of starting on an E minor chord, she's starting on an A sharp minor chord. So to play along with the recording, what you want to do is take a capo, and if you put the capo on 6th fret, then now your E minor is really an A sharp minor, and your C major is really an F sharp major, and your D major is really a G sharp major, and your G major is really a C sharp major. But to take it from the very beginning, you may want to kick it off with kind of those intro loops, kind of that E, and our C idea. D idea, and then the B minor, E minor, C, D, B minor, and you can kind of pick it up on that C, E minor, kind of at the very 
you word that. And he has ways to you know, see. second uh, verse. And on that second verse, actually, something else that, that I think about adding to the song is bass notes. And so a lot of times on that first down of the down, down, up, up, down, up, you can throw in a bass note for the chord. So on the E minor, you'd have a low E for the bass. On the C, you'd have the A for the bass. On the D, you'd have the D for the bass. Unless you're doing the D add four, in which case you'd have the A for the bass. And on the D minor, you'd have the A for the bass. And on the G, you normally have the low E bass, but you may want to use that A string Verse return at our second verse with our bass down up up down up. We have E minor. Basics of how you can strum through Chandelier by Sia. So, good luck! <laughs>